In this area of my oldest daughter's closet, she keeps her art supplies. So in each of these containers are various art supplies, but she'd like to have them beside her desk so that she can easily reach them to work. She has this roller storage, which is great, but needs to be able to bring more of what she has over here. And we're gonna be moving this printer, so first we need to get rid of these books. So this I'll put under my desk. I'm pretty sure that all of these books that she's moving are things she's using when she's doing art. Either they're art reference or they are color information that she uses. And so it would be nice if we could rearrange how she stores her books someday, but today is just not that day. So she's just getting that put on the bottom shelf where it can be out of her way. And these are actually shelves that my parents gave me when I was probably in my young 20s. I think it was when I was in college. So it's pretty neat to be able to pass that down. It's something that was natural wood and I stained it. And so here it sits in her room with her little knickknacks and books as well. It's always a tricky thing when you're helping someone else do some decluttering and organizing. I think that it's even more tricky when it's family and even more tricky when it's one of your kids. So you have to tread very, very lightly and make sure that they're doing all the leading. Now, right now, Rachel has moved some things out of the way and notice that there's some dust on the floor, so she's just getting that vacuumed up. I think the first thing that you need to do when you're going to help someone in your family declutter is really have a conversation with them and find out what their goals are. It's most important because sometimes we can assume that we know in our mind what the goal is and then we end up being a bull in a china closet and we end up pushing them in areas that they don't want to be pushed and it doesn't go well. So make sure you always know what the goal is, what they're trying to achieve and make sure included in that is what is the pain point? What is really bothering them about their current system or the amount of current possessions that they have. And that helps you to understand whether they're actually going to be willing to get rid of things and how much they're going to be able to get rid of. So we've got the books put away and now Rachel is taking out all the storage. If you've been part of my channel for a while now, then you probably already know I do not like to take everything out and put it on the floor. I think the rule of thumb is don't take out more than say a 15 or 20 minute task to put it away. That way, if you get called away or if you just get tired, you don't have a big mess out. So if you can put it away in a few minutes, then I think it's fine to take it out. Otherwise, start with one spot and move to the next. I mean, I can always take them for school supplies. Mm -hmm. Just so, like, I wanted to do a project with acrylics because if you remember, I still have my blank canvas. This is okay. probably me, though. Oh, I did. Oh, what's this for? Uh, it's loads of empty jars. I was going to yeah. have some for, like, repotting paints. Oh, yeah. And then I forgot about them, and then I started using the little salad things. So I probably oh, still yeah. need those. Yeah, you should keep them. So. Pencils, they're all probably still perfectly good. I just need a better place to store colored pencils. Now for Rachel today, her intention was not to have a decluttering session where she was decluttering out her closet. Her intention was to get her art supplies more conveniently stored and organized so that it's a lot easier to do her art projects and to have everything at arm's reach. And so it's that's why I said before, it's always great to know what someone's goal is. Now, of course, when you're organizing, it makes perfect sense to quickly go through things and make sure that there's nothing you might like to get rid of so within this she does find some things to get rid of but it was important for me to realize that was not the overall purpose her pain point was that she didn't want to have to keep getting up when she needed something else and go hunting through her closet for it. She wanted everything right there where she could see it at arm's length. She's also the type of person who likes to see everything that she has and owns at her fingertips, which is why she has the open storage roller cart right beside her desk. Now, we are going to end up getting something that does hide the things that we're putting in it, but she was fine with that because it was a very basic organization. But it's also important, if you're gonna help someone to organize, it's important for them to know 
what their organization style is. And so mine is I like to have everything hidden. Hers is she likes to see everything. So it's important for me to let her lead in the whole process from going through her things to decluttering and to organizing. And I'm there really to just help her meet her goals. She is the one going through all of her art supplies, all of those drawers, and also her roller cart. She's looking for things that she might like to get rid of. She's categorizing things so that she knows what she has and has them well categorized so that we know what organizational tools we might need to purchase. So she had these colored pencils. She's getting them all in the colored pencil case because she realized that she had some in the case and then she had some in a Gladlock bag. And so she's getting them all in one place. And as she goes, she's just kind of externally processing what she's finding. She's asking my opinion on things to keep, things to get rid of, things that she might like to upgrade eventually. And so my job is just to affirm her. I do give my honest opinion when asked, but I try my hardest to hold back when I haven't been asked because there's been a lot of times when I, as the mom, give my opinion because I'm used to leading and it's honestly not appreciated because it's the opposite of what they're trying to accomplish in their goals. So I'm just there to kind of affirm them along the way and to help them see the possibilities of things they might not have thought of. I kind of give a permission to get rid of things, which is really not permission, you know, but you're just kind of agreeing, oh yeah, you're right, you should just get rid of this. So sometimes it's important for people to get to have that permission from someone else and an affirmation that they're doing a good job and that what they're doing makes sense. Rachel is just finishing up going through all of her art supplies and we've been talking about what type of storage she wanted to look for when we go shopping because we're doing that next and she was looking for something that had drawers in it. She had looked at some things online and so now we know that if we can't find what we want in the store we can purchase online but it's always nice to be able to bring it right home when you're thinking about it. So now we're going to bring in a garbage bag and I also have an empty Rubbermaid box that I'm bringing in for donation. She used to use it for storage. The lid has been lost for a long time, so it's perfect for donations. And she's putting anything that's being thrown out into the garbage bag. So we're talking about what type of storage we're going to be shopping for, but we don't want to leave her room a mess because we live 35, 40 minutes away from the nearest store. So we know that by the time we bring it home and it gets put together, it's probably not going to be today that we're doing the reorganizing. So it's important not to leave her room a mess. And honestly, I would probably do that anyway because it can be pretty exhausting to come home and now you have a mess on the floor. So it's always good to clean as you go and she noticed this decor that she also wanted to get rid of so I just grabbed that. All right three guesses as to who's going to put together the furniture that I bring home. Yep you guessed it it's Robin. <laughs> so you can see the picture a little bit there but you're going to see the finished product. This is just a shelf of drawers. As you can see, Leo is right there. We had a dog, a Shih Tzu, that I was just talking to one of you on the phone about recently. And between our Shih Tzu and also our two cats, we have never had an animal that didn't love watching my husband work. And it's just so funny. We even did um, foster cats at one point and I'll see if I can round up a picture of the foster kittens because it was so funny. My husband was working on the porch and they all lined up at the door at the glass window and were watching him work. And so Leo, he thinks he's hiding here. I'm not quite sure why he feels the need to hide, <laughs> but he actually sat there for quite a few minutes hiding and he was really having fun just playing with all of the things that Robin was laying around. In comes Yvonne, our 16-year-old daughter. You guys haven't gotten to see her lately because she's been working at Duncan, working very hard. She saved up for a phone and now she's saving for a car. So she was working all summer, but now with school starting, she will not be working nearly as much as she was. So maybe you'll get to see her a little bit more, but she is normally the one who comes and offers to help. 
She's very interested in what's going on here. You might have seen her in cleaning videos, also a lot of my menu recipe type videos. She's been involved in a lot of things like that as well. I think Leo was thinking that he wasn't getting enough attention, so he had to make sure that he was the absolute center here. So there he goes, let's lay on it. You know, it's a shape, so as a cat, it's his duty to lay right down there or sit right down there and uh, check out what's happening and be in the middle of all of it. We got this cabinet at Michael's and if you're looking for storage, it's definitely a good time to look in the month of September, if it's still September when you're watching this, because a lot of things are on sale because of people moving into their dorm rooms at college. So it's always a great time in the fall to find storage and this was no exception. It was definitely at least 30% off at Michael's. Joann's really didn't have a whole lot. We were trying to get away from the plastic Rubbermaid storage and get something a little bit more sturdy. We also loved that it had these wheels on the bottom because Rachel's like me and she likes to move things around and see what would be best and so it's going to be so much easier for her to be able to move it around because it has the wheels on it. Here is the finished product and as you can see it has these nice wide drawers that are easy to get into. So why don't we do the accessories instead, so just like this, this, this. You might need this box. Honestly I'm probably just going to put these here, just not related. Sure. They don't fit. Yeah, because they fit and they need a place. Yep. Um, probably not going to use this mouse. You can probably just bring it back downstairs. I would say you can start, I'll move on to the next drawer. You can start handing me watercolor, the droplet jars. What if we should get smaller containers that go on this? That would make it easier. Probably. I don't think that car head. But yeah, that glue would make it easier. I was also thinking of smaller containers for these yeah. shelves. Dividers, like. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. See what they have online. You can probably start handing me the gouache in uh, jars. This? Yeah. No, no this. Yes. Do you want the tubes? Sure. Decision fatigue is a real thing when you're organizing, just like it's real when you're decluttering. So it's great if you can grab a buddy, somebody who's just there to hand you things, to be your runner, and to just keep you encouraged and motivated. There's that one. Everything's looking all schmeasy. All right, number three, sketchbooks. Mm -hmm. 
as we come across little things we're still doing a little bit of decluttering and neatening up but we're getting ready to move the printer we're going to be decluttering the little um, end table that's underneath that printer it's not really serving the best purpose so she'd like to put her printer on top of the new storage that she got so here we're going to use a little bit of teamwork and get that done So where do you want more lighting? Uh, well, the thing is, the way it's set up now, lighting-wise, is fine. Yeah. My trouble is that, like ergonomically, it would be more convenient to have the lamp over there and the drawer over here. But then this room, this side of the room, is overlit, and this side of the room isn't lit enough. So do we just need to get on the floor lamp? Uh, I don't. I was thinking if I got the other drawer I could get it like a lamp to go on top of that. Oh right, right. right. So this is just the setup I have working for right now and then I figure out what to do with these. Those we want to absorb in these. Do you want to condense any of these or no? For now Yeah, for now they don't Hello, Leo. <laughs> Leo. Leo alert. Leo alert. Like, Leo are you here. Are you in your family without me? He's like, are you doing activities and I'm not present? I've always loved watching those. HGTV shows where they completely overhaul a room, completely overhaul someone's storage, do the decluttering, do the organizing. And one of the things I love about it is it just seems like they have a budget that doesn't end and they're able to do whatever it is they want. So if we were really doing what we wanted to do here, we'd be taking out all those wire shelves in there and we would be completely putting in some cubed wooden shelves instead and so i'd like to do that in the future but you know that's just not reality for most of us we have to save up so that's going to be something that happens in her closet in the future so for now we still have those drawers but at least she has everything within reach when she's at her desk creating you got two outlets yeah and then I can move the desk further. Right. Because so then this would doesn't need a lot of space. You don't even need to move the desk that far. But let's just if we put this one over there. Because you need a plug for your printer in. Hold on a second. And the second drawer could go. There's fine. It's not gonna. Right. Be so you So then I would have the printer and stuff right here. Yeah. And then I would have the second shelf, basically just like yeah, touching the lamp on top of it. With the lamp on top of it. But for now, we can put this lamp here. And here is her finished product, so it's always so exciting to get it done and to see how much easier it's going to be to get your work done. Go ahead and choose one of these videos to watch. I'll meet you over there. God loves you. I love you too, and I can't wait to see you next time.